let us ask ourselves is he so worry that of it to be to be to be saying what Bari is doing is all good or to 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 be forward for the revolution revolutionaries it's like uh, maybe Atiku come out and say this, we want revolution or something like that. But I didn't say it, I don't say it what Buhari government is doing is good. I did not say that. I don't say what Buhari government is doing is good. I did not recommend anything. But I want us to see, critically see it that uh, so really is not the best person to lead revolution for Nigeria because he has become a candidate of a, the party. Can so really pray that if he was the one that they elected then that somebody should say they want to forcefully hijack the government from him and from those people that are seen. Can he say that? He cannot say that. And let me tell you something. It's not that I said what Buhari government is saying is doing is is okay. I did not say that. I tell you, I did not say that. I did not back Buhari government. I cannot back Buhari government because I can back government that is going to but government that is doing their own time, there is a ship, there is something, there is people are now shouting, nobody have money, no, no, uh, something that have not been, I don't know what happened. And they said, anytime Bali is there, that is how his government is used to be. Yes, I can vividly remember in 1984 or something like that, when Buhari came there, Buhari and the Diagon, everybody suffer, suffer, suffer before they hijack the government from there. It's true that it was when they overthrew the government, people are now saying that what they wanted to do is okay. But still, the same thing is still going on now. Because during their force, during the, the, the Buhari detention or something, I can remember vividly that uh, how we go to the bank to queue for the change of the money or something like that, all those things. And uh, all the policies that they brought to Nigeria then. But what I'm saying is that, uh, okay, now the same thing happened. If you want to do that, there is a way that I thought we can do it. There is a way we can. It's not by that way that you want. And let me tell you something. People that have been facing war or that faced war before, go and ask them. War, war, war. <laughs> revolution is not a, something that you can pray for in Nigeria. We don't need to pray for revolutionaries in Nigeria because if it happens, you know that is. I suppose to face one war that I can never forget in my life. Which war? That is. I face it physically, I know it, I feel it, and I know what war is. It was a uh, just war. Just war started in my face. Because um, to being just on that particular time. And uh, what they call war, war, I saw it in Joss. Because I can see 
that die, they kill physically. And there is God that saves all of us. You can say, is it a war? It's a war. It's war. I can tell you, whoever that is there, know that what can say what war. Because they kill so many people that citizen that doesn't concern on this thing. And what causes the war? Is something that they can say to amicably. They did not. But um the pity that I have I now have for people that are say that uh, there is nothing they can do, there is nothing they, don't say there is nothing they can do. That what you said during the Abiola, MK Abiola regime. That they cannot do anything, they cannot do anything until they, they kill uh, MK Abiola. And uh, I've even advised uh, Atiku that uh, at least they have started their, their something. If it's 20 years, 20 years we, we finish one day. If it's 10 years, 10 years we finish one day. And they are going to finish what they, they started. But let's wait. Because it's true that so, things are bad. I have a pity for so worry. So what is there now? I can hard that it cannot hit. Hungry, you know what hungry is? Somebody that just sit down and they give him anything that he want. It's not becoming you now become a became a somebody that uh, when you bring the food to him. He have to scrutinize the food very well before he eats. He's the one that can say what is going on to him there. Yeah. Although they said they give him preferential treatment, but which kind of preferential treatment is that? Preferential treatment that you cannot talk to your lover, you cannot talk to your friends, you cannot talk freely, you cannot walk freely. You want to urinate, they will follow you. If you want to do anything, they will do that. If you want to sleep, they will they have to be there, anything, everything. Is that a freedom? Those people that are now arguing out, they are moving, they are moving. Those people that push the guy there, they are moving by their own. <laughs> so worry. I'm, I'm, I'm in words. It is a very, is a very something to me to hurt that you are, you, they, they pick you. It were better if by the time you want to do something, you want to be annoying, you are, you are not, and they be, you don't, you don't put revolution into it. It be a better. Okay, people, let's, 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 Go out to let's do this thing though to tell them that uh, we don't want we don't want this thing we don't and if anybody now pick you people will now say why we have freedom we have freedom of speech freedom for information freedom of every everything in Nigeria not say because we have freedom of everything. We now be used. We are be using that freedom as we like. That uh, there. Can you see how they? Can you see? I saw how they pick this man. I now remember how they pick M K Abiola. the M K Abiola. It was just like the same. They use Black Maria to pick MK Abiola, and they use black, the same Black Maria to pick uh, Sohori now. And let me tell you, those people that know love Sohori is the people that what we need now is to know 
to get to know how Sowole will come out. We know we have a good lawyer, we have a good son that they can want to see. I can remember. In fact, I love some people, but that's why I don't. But my own religion does not permit me that uh, because I love you, I cannot tell you the truth. I have to tell you the truth. You cannot, because the when there are those lawyers are now saying and saying and saying and saying something, you cannot compare two. You cannot compare another country with Nigeria. They are not the same. Nigeria with its own critical problem. Nigeria doesn't allow constitution to work. Nigeria that are practicing constitution that this constitutional that they are practicing is for the part. It's not it's not mean for the part. Nigeria that said that uh, it is it is against any individual if you are not a military you are not a force you cannot carry a gun and some people all this thing is their weapon they are carrying along they allow some people to but it is some people are the part of nigeria that cannot carry the gun Some people in Nigeria cannot carry court classes and cannot carry a uh, knife. Some people, when you see them, anywhere you meet them, you, you see them with knife and court classes because the constitutional is not for them. Is that where you want, you want to compare with the democratic uh, uh, country? Is that, is that the country that you are, you are talking of? Nigeria, it is Nigeria that you see that somebody does not win election and that, that person is emerged as a winner and just go like that. And they will go to the court and you, the lawyer and the, 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 just, the justice that you are shouting now, you are there. You are the one that passed the rule to them that they are still, they are still there. Uh, winner. Which kind of, which kind of, there is nothing you can you can say for such a person like me, because I don't know what I will say. But I want to talk to Mr. President, sir. <laughs> Mr. President, sir. I'm very sorry, and I'm obedient. To you, sir. You, as the president of Nigeria, who we believe that your own time is different for those people that are belonging, sir. We know we have some people that are educated within your party, sir. But you know that you still have knowledge and understand this, sir. And you know how to say two things, sir. Our Mr. President, President, President Muhammad Bari, you know we love you. Some of us love you. Not all of us are the same. And we love you because of attitude some things. Because we know that what is going on in Nigeria is not your wish. It's not your wishes. Because you are crying any, 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 any time, any day. And we know you don't want change to happen in Nigeria, sir. Our president, sir. 
And we know that uh, the constitutional and rule of Democrats, you have studied everything, sir, the president, sir. You know that uh, this man so worry that the P is your colleague when you are campaign during your election, sir. And you know that, sir, everybody see Sowori, they did not even vote for Sowori before I voted for you, sir. They voted for you because of the beef that they have on you, sir, Mr. President, sir. And uh, we know you have a here, sir, uh, Mr. President, sir. And uh, we believe that uh, some people are those people that are pulling or pushing you to some things that which is not in your aim to do, sir. Sir, all Nigeria are now asking you, sir, Mr. President, sir. Oh, please, pardon. Mr. Sowori, because he's not as your head that he can understand what he's doing, sir. He just want to sow his grievances so that things, maybe things can change, sir. We can see that as you, sir, Mr. President, sir, you don't want anybody that will destabilize your government. That's why you pick so, and we are very happy that uh, you are giving him a preferential treatment, sir. And uh, we would like it, sir, that uh, if you can release so worry even with the condition or without any condition, sir. We be appreciated, sir. Because out of all of you, sir, we believe in you as a, the government of the citizens. And you are the government of the people by the people, sir. Mr. Buari, <laughs> Muhammad Buari, we like you and we love you. Please, in the name of God that you are serving, in the name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are begging you, don't listen to all those people that are saying this and saying that. Don't listen to them. They don't know. Some people, they don't know the meaning of a ruling. But we believe that you, you've ruled as a dictatorship, you are ruling as a democrat, sir. You know everything. When you go back to my, what I see that I've done, I said it that anybody that wants to disturb your government, sir. I said, don't keep them, don't, don't take them to jail, but just have a place, keep them and be, get advice from them. That, okay, what we want to do this, want to do this, what do you want to do, what do you want us to do? Or you can create a scenario B for those people that uh, will be a member of a thought that before you think, before you do something, take it to them. The school nights, they tell you, you now look at it very well before you do. And uh, I can tell you that uh, you have good people among you, but you have so many wicked people among of you that you don't know that they are just being your friend because of what they want to get from you. 
our president, sir. Wari. I know you and I know who you are. All this thing that is happening, you don't like it. It's not something that you like. And because you don't like it, to fetter your power, to tell them to release the worry. Let him go to meet his family. And uh, we thank God revolution has gone. No revolution again. The date, ha the date has gone. No. no revolution again. I beg, sir. I the most merciful, the most beneficent. So, when I'll be called to the city, I'm Wassalam alam sanin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin another one sir but i hope this one and you find solution into so related issue thank you sir